Hey y'all, so I hope you had a wonderful day. I just got off a nine hour shift and I wanted you to come along with me while I got unready. You know, take a new twist on this chit chat, get ready with me. I'm gonna start a new segment called chit chat, get unready with me, where I can just talk to y'all about some things that are on my mind. I wanted to take a little bit to talk about something that has really been on my mind lately and that has been bugging me. So let's talk about work and why I'm done with work. I literally hit a wall today that has been a long time coming since I bet like sixth grade, literally. So maybe not that far, but at least like sophomore year of high school. And I'm not joking because I have been working my butt off since sophomore year of high school. So now it's 15 with my learner's permit. As soon as I was able to drive, I've had a job. I've had to pay for things that I wanted to do. You know, my mom obviously helped me. My mom obviously gave me some things along the way, but ultimately I did everything myself. And even to make matters like worse, I haven't just had one job. Since sophomore year, I swear I've always had at least two jobs. Sorry guys, I'm walking through the house. At one point, sophomore year, which I blogged about this, so I'm not sure if you guys saw it or not. Sophomore year of college, I had four jobs. Four, four. That is way too much for one person to ever be having, okay? To be completely honest, it hasn't bothered me until now. That's why I say that this like wall that I hit today has been a long time coming. I've been working way too hard for way too long and I'm way too young. And honestly, that's, that's kind of what I want to talk about today because I think it's crazy that we're taught at such a young age to like, ooh, I'm bright, to like work, work, work and to we basically die. I just feel like there's something that could be said about that. I don't know. Ultimately, I just want to talk about the fact that at such a young age, we're taught to, one, decide what we want to be for the rest of our lives at the age of like 12. But you know, we're going to save that for another chit chat, get on right with me. But second of all, we are taught at such a young age that we have to work, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. Do not take this out of context. But I'm saying right now, our society, a lot of people that are my age, we just, we're just go, 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 go all the time. Like we don't stop and we're all over social media, we're all over jobs, we're all over everywhere trying to like prove something to everybody else. <sighs> and it's stressful, it's exhausting, and I've hit a wall. Now my problem isn't with working or work ethic, like I've already said, obviously we have to work, we have to make money, we have to live. I'm not upset that I'm working or that I have to work or that my parents aren't handing me everything. That's literally not what I'm saying. My whole point of this and why I'm so upset today is because I've nonstop worked and had literally, like I said, four jobs at the age of 19 because I've had to just be immersed in this life that is so hard to really be immersed in. Because I have to, one job is to pay for my rent. The other job is to pay for the bills. The other job is to pay for like groceries, necessities, stuff like that. And then I have another job that pays for me to, to enjoy my life. The irony of that statement is literally because I have a whole job to save money to enjoy life. But the problem is because I have so many jobs, there's so much time that I have to spend at my job to save said money, I don't have said life. So literally all we're doing is working our asses off to enjoy some life that we really don't get to enjoy. And then that furthers our addiction to social media and trying to prove that we're living this this great life and then I have all this money and all these friends and I'm not I'm doing all these things and all these things are tied together and it's stressing me out y'all at the end of the day I wish that I actually had time to enjoy my life after working all my jobs after working the job that I'm working to save money to enjoy my life because it's just it's just ironic the fact that like we work 24 7 to live a good life but since we're working 24 7 do we even have a good life this is what keeps me up at night another concept that we could talk about on another day on another get unready with me would be the simple fact that everything is too expensive and that is why i have to work so much to pay for everything why is tuition to go to ohio state twenty two thousand a year pretty much I hit my wall today because I work too much, I don't relax enough, and something needs to be said as to why that happens. 
And I'm sure I'm not the only one. Like, I swear, I can't be. I can't be. I just wish I could find a happy medium of, like, working enough to afford my lifestyle, actually being able to enjoy my lifestyle after working, and not going crazy. Another talk for another time. Minimum wage for some jobs and for some times just aren't enough. So obviously I'm in college to get a degree to do a career, but I'm not eligible for a real career yet, so I still have to work minimum wage jobs or a little over minimum wage. But that doesn't mean that I can afford rent and groceries and things like that on my budget where I'm living. So please let me know. Tell me that I'm not the only one going through stuff like this because I need to know if I'm just working too hard or if it's a thing that like everybody works too hard. That everybody works too hard. <laughs> Quinn's making fun of me, but it's fine. It's fine. What are we making for dinner? Ooh, I have to feed the dogs. <gasps> I didn't feed you guys. I'm gonna stop complaining now. But now that I am completely unready, I'm gonna go ahead and call this quits for today. This new segment, like I said at the beginning, I'm gonna kind of, I don't know what I'm gonna call it, call it yet. Obviously you'll know what I'm calling it because you've already clicked on the title of this video. But essentially it's gonna be a chit chat, get unready with me, let's talk about something. Um, not every time is it gonna be just me like voicing my opinion on something. Quinn and I were even talking like we'll do one of the times that we'll talk about like date night ideas or how to save money or little things like that. But it's basically just gonna be like a, like a fun way to do a sit down chit chat video other than me just sitting in one spot and you watching me the entire time. So if you have anything that y'all want me to talk about, go ahead and tell me down below in the comments. That way I can have like a running list of things that y'all want to talk about while I get unready. While I get unready. Thank you so much for watching my chit chat with Marissa back. And if you want to see me next time, then you can come and see me next time. Bye. <laughs> we help you here. Because if you're going through anything, <laughs> we help you. They come with a toy. Where's the toy? I don't know. We're <gasps> supposed to be going to see Jurassic Park on Tuesday. Hope I don't get flaked out on. I work. Again, going back to this whole thing, I work so much that I can't even go do things. We were supposed to have date night on Friday. I worked. We are supposed to do movies on Tuesday. I work. Guys, help me. But that is it for tonight. I will see y'all next time. Bye.